Well, hello, Pray and Share Warriors. How are y'all doing tonight? I am doing great. It is Friday. And what I want to talk to you tonight about is God is faithful. And we know God is faithful. Wow, we've seen so many things that God has done through His Word and through our lives that He is faithful. So I want to talk to you about that tonight. And I left my Bible over there and on my trips getting up. So I'm going to go get my Bible and I'm going to go get my water. And I'll be right back. And I'm so sorry. And I'm late too. And I'll just be a little bit later. I'll be back. Alright, I'm back. I got my water. I got my uh, Bible. I got my Women of Faith t-shirt on tonight. I thought that would be a good one with Faithful. as Women of Faith. I have so many great memories from Women of Faith. Going and hanging out with the ladies in our church. Many of them are hanging out together in heaven. Oh... But anyway, have you thought about um, how faithful has God been to you? He is faithful to us. He is. So let's jump into some prayer. I'm going to read you some lyrics to a song and have a story from tomorrow. I mean, from yesterday, not tomorrow. From yesterday. I need to get set up. I don't know. I was in here doing Facebook and time got away from me. And so excuse me, let's pray. God, we just come to you and we just thank you, God. We thank you that you are faithful. That you care about the little things in our lives. You care about the medium-sized things and you care about the big things too. That you are the great I am and you are the great Jehovah and you are on your throne. You are in control, God. You are sovereign over all things. God, we just thank you that you are mighty and magnificent and powerful. You are the righteous judge that will judge all unrighteousness, God. But yet you are kind and compassionate and caring and faithful God and trustworthy we can trust you God and you are patient you want none to perish God and you want all that you created to be with you again we thank you God we for loving us we love you with our whole heart our soul our mind and our strength and God we just pray for the lost we just pray that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth, God, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they could be saved. We pray for the prodigals to come home, God, to see where they are, to remember the relationship that they once had, and for them to return to you, for them to repent, and for them to have their relationship reconciled once again. God, we pray for all the people in Florida, all the people that have lost loved ones. I have not kept up today, but I'm pretty sure that they are just looking for bodies and trying to remove debris at this point. So God, I just pray that you would be with these families, that you would give them peace, comfort, and strength, that you would be with these government officials, God, that you would just give them peace also and all the hard decisions that they've had to make, God, the people will understand that those were not the decisions that they wanted to make, but they had to make hard decisions to keep everyone safe. And God, we just pray for um, the rescuers that are having to do the hard work, God. We just pray that you would be with them, that you would give them strength, that you would give them peace and comfort too. I can't imagine that doing that job would be 
um, would be very taxing on your heart. God, we just pray for all the volunteers that are from different states, God, and uh, the ones from Israel that were there and Mexico, God. We just pray, pray for them too. We just pray, God, for all the people that have lost loved ones. We just pray for peace, comfort, and strength. I have a few people on my heart, God, that are sick. I just pray for healing for them. I just pray that you would be with them, that they would feel you, your presence, God, and that you would heal their bodies. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh, I'm sorry, my nose itches. YouTube will probably catch that as a as a uh, thumbnail. They usually catch the worst thumbnails. Okay, well, I don't do thumbnails on um, Facebook. It's just like there because it's done live. Okay, where to start? Okay, let's start with this song. I have a little story from yesterday. My grandkids. I went and spent some time with them yesterday. Two of them, two out of three. I'm going to have to go spend some time with the older one now. Give her some pampering. Okay, so yesterday I went to Stephenville and I stayed with my two youngest grandkids. And um, I'm just going to read this because it has the story in it. And God is faithful even when we aren't. I love this song and message by Eric Nieder that my granddaughter Kylie shared with me yesterday <clears throat> that she learned at camp. I love the lyrics of this song. Even when I'm not, you're faithful. Wherever we go, God is so faithful. Kylie loves to sing praise and worship music so we connect spiritually on this level. I like to believe because this is what our family listens to. This is all I listen to in the car. So I listen to in my home. I don't listen to other genres of music. I only listen to Christian music. And uh, yesterday I went to Brittany Thurman's and hung out with August and Kylie. Kylie made slime. She loves slime. So she had a little kit. She made slime. She loves it, so I helped her. And helped her clean up the mess it made, too, because it did make a mess. August, in the meantime, being a boy, was outside in the backyard and uh, flipping over boards. And he found, <laughs> being a boy, that's what boys do, I guess. I don't know. I've never been a boy, but I guess that's what they do. Anyway, he found a centipede and a toad and a snake, and he was telling me all about it. And he took a picture of the snake, and he was showing me the picture. And uh, Grandy, my name, my grandmother' name is Grandy. Grandy is not a fan of snakes, so he showed it to me, and the head looked pointed in the picture. So I told him to leave it alone. I said it could be a baby rattler that is not diamondback. There are other types of rattlers that don't have the diamondbacks. So uh, I listened to all the snake shows that I went to in Walnut Springs. I did not miss anything because I don't like them. So I, I listen. Um, so August decided to Google poisonous snakes because, you know, he wanted to go out there and play with it. And uh, and I said, it is not worth finding out who is right, me or, or Google. And Kylie said that I was right because, this is so funny. <laughs> I went to school and I went to college and I learned things and I know things. <laughs> it just cracked me up. She cracks me up. And... Uh, what a funny statement. I love making memories with these beautiful blessings from God. And I feel so much... And I feel so much smarter, too, because my granddaughter thinks I'm smart. Um, 
I failed to take pictures of our adventure of taking them to Dollar General and McDonald's. It was a great day to make memories. I am thankful for I am thankful for a God that gives us these opportunities to share with our grandkids and his faithfulness in all things when we trust him. I am thankful and grateful for all the blessings in family and friends he has placed in my life. I am. I am so thankful for every one of my family members, every one of my friends, every one of the kingdom family people that I have met. I am thankful and grateful. Um, I have some new kingdom family that I have met through Unbound, this organization that I'm volunteering for. And uh, these new family members give me confirmation of the new assignment God has called me to. I'm determined to be faithful to, the, to his calling. I need prayer, and I need to take time to learn how to be of service in the fight against human trafficking and how to be an effective presenter of valuable information to parents, grandparents, and other educators, making them aware of the signs and red flags of human trafficking, which happens everywhere. There, There is not any place that it doesn't happen. It happens everywhere. And a lot of it is perpetrated on the internet and social media platforms. Um... God is faithful, and when he calls us to something, he will equip and empower us. All glory to him. Pray for me as he opens another chapter for me to be of service to him, to put hands and feet to many prayers against human trafficking. And I put hashtag pray for freedom, hashtag education is the key. Because the education about human trafficking is where a lot of the mistakes are made. Is that people don't see, they don't see the signs, they don't see the red flags. And so I've, I feel privileged that God brought me to this organization. Because he started moving me in this direction many years ago. But I'm not going to talk about that tonight. There is going to be one night where I just share everything that I can share with you about this. Okay, but tonight I want to read you these lyrics. This song is by Eric Nieder and it's called Faithful. And so Kylie goes, Grandy, can you find the song Faithful and we'll listen to it on your phone? And I go, I'll start looking and there are a lot of songs called Faithful but this in particular song is the one that they sang at camp it says Lord you search me how you know me you know God does search us he knows our hearts he knows us so well you perceive my every thought from afar in all my wandering still you love me king of glory you pursue my anxious heart even when I'm not, you're faithful. Even when I doubt, your truth holds. Even when I'm lost, you won't let me go. <clears throat> when my heart is dry, your grace flows. No matter where I run, I'm not sure if I'm not far from home. Yeah, I may be weak, but you're able. Even when I'm not, you're faithful. Even when I'm not, you're faithful. Lord, you search me how you know me. Oh, it looks like that is a repetition of verse 1. So I'm going to go to the bridge. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I hide from your face? Where can I flee from your presence? Where would I go? Where would I go? If I rise to the heavens, you're with me. If I fall to the depths of the sea, even there it's your hand that will lead me. Wherever I go, wherever I go, <clears throat> Where can I go? Oh, it's a rep repetition. So here's the chorus again. Even when I'm not, you're faithful. Even when I doubt, your truth holds. Even when I'm lost, you won't let me go. When my heart is dry, your grace flows. No matter where I run, I'm not far from home. 
Yeah, I may be weak, but you're able, even when I'm not, you're faithful. Even when I'm not, you're faithful. So even when we are not faithful to God, He is faithful to us. And um, I'm going to look up some scripture, but I'm also going to do the prodigal son story, which I think I'm going to start off with it. I think it's in Luke. We read it on Wednesday night. We studied Judges on Wednesday night, and it just reminded me of this story of the prodigal son. So, we read it. It's not in John. I think it's in Luke. Luke. Ah. Huh. Luke, where does it start? Luke fifteen eleven. I'm going to write that down. One of my girls, one of my girls on Wednesday night had to Google it because I couldn't remember whether it was in Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. But I know what's in the Bible, but sometimes I don't know exactly where it is. Sometimes I do. Sometimes the Holy Spirit will lead me there just like miraculously. But sometimes I struggle. That's okay. Okay, so this is the story. Luke fifteen eleven. A certain man had two sons. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falleth to me. And he divided unto them his living. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country, and there wasted his substance with riotous living. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in that land, and he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into his fields to feed swine. And he would fain have filled his belly with the husks that the swine did eat, and no man gave unto him. And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my father have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger. I will arise and go to my father, and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight and am no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his servants, Bring forth the best robe, and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand, and shoes on his feet, and bring hither the fatted calf, and kill it, and let us eat and be merry. For this my son was dead, and is alive again. He was lost, and is found. And they began to be merry. Now his elder son was in the field, and he and as he came, and drew nigh to the house, he heard music and dancing. And he called one of the servants and asked what these things meant. And he said unto him, Thy brother is come, and thy father hath killed the fatted calf, because he hath received him safe and sound. And he was angry and would not go in. Therefore came his father out and entreated him. And he answered, And he answering said to his father, Lo, these many years do I serve thee, neither transgressed I at any time thy commandment, and yet thou never gavest me a kid, that I might make merry with my friends. But as soon as thy son was come, as soon as this thy son was come, which hath devoured thy living with harlots, Thou hast killed for him the fatted calf. 
And this is what the father said to this son. And he said unto him, Son, thou art ever with me, and all that I have is thine. It was meet that we should make merry and be glad, for this thy brother was dead and is alive again and was lost and is found. And that is a parable that Jesus told. Jesus liked to tell stories and he liked to tell parables. And this is one about could be a lost person, someone that strayed away from God, someone that went to the other side and started living for the world. We have, uh, I did that, I did that. I knew what was right, and I started, you know, before I got saved, I started going the other way, the way of the world. God drew me back. He drew me back through his scripture. He drew me back through circumstances in my life at that time. He drew me back. And it was a celebration because I was lost. If I would have died in that time frame, I probably would be in hell because that's, I mean, there's two places. There's heaven and there's hell. And if we're not saved, we're not going to heaven. None of us can get there on good works. We have to be saved through Jesus Christ. So this shows the faithfulness of the Father, God, God the Father. God the Father could have told this guy, Hey, you sinned. Go away from me. You spent all my money on riotous living with harlots and drinking so just go away from me but that's not the heart of the father that's not the heart of father god he is faithful and his love is steadfast i explained to the girls even in our sins god still loves us he hates our sin because he's holy and he is perfect he hates our sin but he loves us because he created us but he wants this repentant heart he wants us to come to him and to repent and to let him reconcile that relationship and make it new make it maybe better than it was before because we know his faithfulness because he is faithful he is faithful. This was such a good story. The Holy Spirit led me to this story because I did not have it written down. So let's read some more scriptures about God is faithful. Let's go to uh, Deuteronomy 7 9. So don't ever think that you have strayed so far away from God that He will not take you back because. That is a lie from our enemy. Because he will take you back. He loves you. He loves you. Even though you are sinning against him, he still loves you. And he will take you back. All you have to do is ask for forgiveness. You don't have to get saved again. You don't have to get baptized again. You just ask for forgiveness and turn from that sin turn from that sin lifestyle that maybe you find yourself in that you find yourself trapped in it's a trap and it is bondage and it is going to lead to such unhappiness in the future so let's read Deuteronomy 7 9 I just felt like somebody needed to know that and I felt like somebody needed to know that Wednesday night too that we do stray and we do and God will bring us back he will start drawing this back to him. You know, um, he will. Okay, Deuteronomy 7, 9 says, Know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God, the faithful God, 
which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. To a thousand generations. Wow, that's a lot because a generation is like 80 years. So a thousand generations, that's a lot. It's a lot of generations. But God is faithful. He is faithful. He is. He will take us back. He is faithful to maintain. So let's go to Jeremiah 42.5. Jeremiah 42, 5 says, Then they said to Jeremiah, The Lord is a true and faithful witness between us. If we do not even according to all things for the which the Lord thy God shall send thee to us, whether it be good or whether it be evil, we will obey the voice of the Lord our God, to whom we send thee, that it may be well with us when we obey the voice of the Lord our God. So God wants our obedience. He wants us to be obedient to him. He has called me to do what I do every night. I don't have a huge following, and I don't care. I want to be obedient to him. That is all I want to do is I want to be obedient to him to what he has called me to do. I don't care, you know, who follows me. I don't really care. Okay, um, let's see, 1 Corinthians. I have someone that has joined me. 1 Corinthians 1, 9. We do that at church. It usually works about as good. God is faithful by whom ye were called unto the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. God is faithful. Again, God is faithful. He is so, so faithful. And he will always be faithful, too. This isn't just a phase that God's going through. He has always been faithful. He's always been faithful in my life. Always. I've got to find Thessalonians. It's kind of hard to find. There we go. 1 Thessalonians 5.24 says, Faithful is he that calleth you, who also will do it. I'm going to read what's above it. In the very God of peace sanctify you wholly, and I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that calleth you, who also will do it. I think I hear a lawnmower. I wonder if my husband's out there mowing. Alright, so that is all the scriptures. And now it is time to... I didn't get my notes. I didn't get my notes for today. It's time to do a salvation message. A message. Message. I have this one about faith. Okay. I think my husband is outside mowing. Or somebody is. Okay, this is a faith visit outline. Okay. F 
is for forgiveness. We cannot have eternal life in heaven without God's forgiveness. We need God's forgiveness. In Him, meaning Jesus, we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins. Ephesians 1, 7a. A is for available. Forgiveness is available. It is available for all, for everyone. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3, 16. But not automatic. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 7, 21a. It's available, but not automatic. That's what A stands for. I. I is for impossible. It is impossible for God to allow sin into heaven. It, God is love. John 3, 16. Just. For judgment is without mercy. James 2, 13a. Man is sinful. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 3, 23. But how can a sinful person enter heaven where God allows no sin? T. T is for turn. If you were driving down the road and someone asked you to turn, what would he or she be asking you to do? Change direction. Turn means repent. Turn from something, sin and self. And we talked about that. We talked about repentance. That God wants our repentance. He wants a repentant heart. He wants that. But unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Luke 13, 3b. Turn to someone, turn, trust Christ only. The Bible tells us that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. 1 Corinthians 15, 3b through 4. 3b, yeah, through 4. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 10, 9. H is for heaven. Heaven is eternal life. Heaven is an eternal destination too. Heaven here, and H is for here. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. John 10, 10, B. H is for hereafter. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you myself, you, receive you to myself, and that where I am, there you may be also. John 14, 3. H is for how. How can a person have God's forgiveness, heaven, and eternal life, and Jesus as personal Savior and Lord. Faith again is forsaking all I trust. <laughs> forsaking all I trust Him. That's faith also. Uh, in Romans 10, 9. So this is the invitation. This is Lifeway Church Resources. This is Lifeway Church Resources that I'm reading you. Faith. Faith. Forsaking all, I trust Him. Faith. We want to have faith. We want to be faithful too. We want to be faithful to our calls. We want to be faithful to following Jesus. We want to be faithful also, but God is faithful overall to us. Okay, there's really not a prayer on this, so I'm just going to use this one over here. So if you would like to accept Jesus, forsaking all, 
I trust him. If you would like to put your faith in Jesus, forsaking all, then repeat this prayer after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I admit that I am a sinner. Please forgive me. I believe that you are God's one and only Son that came to teach, heal, love, and forgive. You died on the cross for all sinners. You rose from the tomb on the third day. You ascended into heaven and you will come back to usher your church into heaven. I confess you as my Savior, inviting you into my heart to live and reign forever. Thank you for the gift of salvation. Please give me strength to withstand the temptations in my life. Help me to praise and glorify you daily. Help me to grow in my relationship with you daily through Bible study and prayer. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So if you said that prayer, if you forsaking all, I trust him, faith, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. Your name is being written in the Lamb's Book of Life, and the angels are rejoicing because when we when a prodigal child comes into the kingdom, just like this son, the angels rejoice, and your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You're now saved, sealed, and sanctified by God through Jesus, his one and only Son. So every day, read your Bible, learn more about Jesus, start in Matthew, and every day pray, pray to God, and every day praise, praise God. For all your blessings, all the many things that he's done in your life, because God is faithful. He is. All right, well, it is time to do my blessing from God. I can't bless you, but God can. <clears throat> and I love this blessing in Numbers. And I'm sorry that my voice is sounds like this. It's allergies. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. We all need peace. Brothers and sisters, prayer warriors, we all need peace. All right, well, it is time for me to pray again. And it is time for me to go feed my child who's about to fall asleep. He looks like he has a little allergy, something, something going on too. All right, let's go ahead and pray. God, we just praise you and thank you that you are faithful. That no, that you show us in your word your faithfulness that you show us in our lives your faithfulness God you love us beyond measure we can't even fathom the level of love that you have for us God we thank you we thank you so much for loving us we thank you for protection we thank you for provision we thank you for blessings we just thank you for all the many things that you do in our lives God that you're going to do in our lives, God. We just praise you and thank you for sending us your Son that we can take as our Savior that is going to lead us into back to you, God, back to heaven. 
All we have to do is follow him. We just need to stay close to the shepherd. God, we just praise you and thank you. And again, I pray for the people that I know that are sick, God. I pray for healing. I pray that you would be with them, God. That they would feel your presence. That you would be with their families, God. That they would feel strength from you. And in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, pray and share, warriors. I hope you have an awesome rest of your night and an awesome tomorrow, which is Saturday. Probably going to do more laundry tomorrow. Um, and maybe buy groceries. I need to go buy groceries. So, um, much love. And cyber hugs till I see you again.